it's me, Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Welcome to this afternoon's live craft and chat with me. And today we're using Watercolour World. It's carrying over. So happy. Let me just make sure everything is doing what it's meant to do. I am live. Yay. So let me just check. Hmm. <sighs> Well, it says I'm live, so hopefully I'm live. How is everyone today? I hope you are all doing well. Um, hello, Pam. Can you just confirm that you can hear me? Hello, Kay. Hello, Claire. Hello, Gwen from New uh, North Carolina. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Tara. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Corey. Gosh, lots of people. Yes, no, you haven't joined me for a while. Hello, Judith. Can you all hear me? Can someone please tell me you can hear me? Because I've tried testing the sound earlier and um, it didn't. Uh, it didn't. The test didn't work. Hello, Jane. Yes, all fine and dandy. Thank you, Pam. Hello, thank you, Kay. Loud and clear, Tara. Great. Excellent. Uh, hello, another K. Uh, thank you, Claire. This you can hear me. Gwen can hear me too. Yeah, isn't that good? Everyone can hear me. Marvelous. I'm just gonna see if I can pull that across a little bit. That's better. I can see all of the chat now. Hello, Sherry. It's your birthday, and it's going to rain all day. Well, happy birthday. I hope you have a good day, regardless of the weather. We've had a pretty blah day, although it's cheering up a bit now. Guarantee at five o'clock when I go for my afternoon walk, it will be wet again. Thank you, Beverly. Hello, Leanne. Good morning from Texas Hill Country. Five days in hospital? No, but you're on the mend. So that's good. That's good. I'm very pleased that you're on the mend. So, yes, we are. Hello. Uh, oh, Renia, Renia, from Las Vegas. I'm coming to Las Vegas in August. Hello, Karen. I will get those envelopes out to you. I've got some, so it's fine. Karen is one of my uh, Creativity in a Box subscribers, and she sent me a very nice email this afternoon to say that the box has arrived and something's missing, but how much she enjoys the boxes arriving. So that's lovely. I'm always pleased that people enjoy what's coming through. So, Watercolour World, it is carrying over, I'm thrilled to say. Um, I was going to use it today anyway, but I've got an even better reason to use it today because one of my dear friends, another Stamping Up demonstrator in the UK, has just earned the trip to Mexico. So I must make her a card to say congratulations. I'm not going to give the game away as to who it is, you may guess when we get there, but um, Corrie was in Vegas in February. Yay! Tara says happy birthday to Sherry. Said Rennie. Rennie. Rennie? Hopefully that's right. <laughs> Always a good day when you wake up to another day to write Sherry. Hello, Mary. Mary is from the Netherlands. Your phone keeps auto-correcting, Corey. Yeah, my brain keeps auto-correcting. Anyway, um, I am going to flip the camera down. Famous last words. Uh, can't see where my mouse is. Oh, there it is. Oh, don't do that, computer. Don't do it. There we go. I am down. So let's just set that up. Right, so I have done a tiny bit of prep. And the only prep that I have done is to die cut the word Mexico twice using the a la carte alphabet. I'm going to be doing it again. So you haven't missed anything. You've just missed boredom of watching me do it three times. You're just going to watch me do it once instead. Let me just open that up. Oh, that is right. That's all right. Hello, Jan from Wheatley. You're back from Cornwall. Hello, Carol from Port Townsend in Washington. Gosh, we've got lots of people from all over here today. Today, Now, I'm sorry, but to background stamp, I'm going to use my Stamparatas. And they are gone in Europe. 
and I believe they're gone in North America now. I don't know what the situation is in the South Pacific, but I'm still going to use mine because I find it much easier to use mine than to use the enormous great big, is it F block? Anyway, so I've mounted it up. I've got a piece of paper in place. This is going to be the card for the lady who, oh, that's in the wrong place. Let's get that out of the way. Um, this is for the lady who has just earned the Mexico trip. And as I say, it's going to be a secret for the moment, but you may work out who it is. I've got dreadful fluff on my, this is basic gray. A huge bit of toot, that's better, uh, on my basic gray ink pad. Still a bit of toot, but never mind. So, basic grey. Gone in the USA. All the accessories have, got, have gone as well. The only thing we've got in the UK, which therefore means Europe, are magnets, uh, which I hope I never need another set of magnets, but they are still available. Hello, Deborah from Michigan. Yeah, I thought someone earlier in the week said that they had gone. So I'm just going to ink up my watercolour world in basic grey. It is a distinctive ink pad, um, ink pad, stamp, so you're not expecting it to be even, even, even. Uh, you're expecting it to be pixelated. So let's use my air hockey thing. Beautiful. Now, that may look really dull for a card that's a celebration, but I'm hoping I will be able to rectify that. I'm just going to switch over bits of card. While I know where that piece has got to be, let's just do that. Um, because the second card that I'm going to make is going to be, the watercolour world bit is going to be more colourful than this version. Right. Okay, so I will be trimming that down. Um, I have got, I have got, I have got a piece. This is ordinary basic white card. I am just going to grab a pair of scissors, long scissors, and I'm going to deliberately cut it down so that it's just the width of the adhesive sheet. This is a piece of adhesive sheet. Um, which makes using these dies so much easier. And I have got a rainbow. I can sing a rainbow. Now, I always have to look this up, but I'm going to try and remember it. Richard of York gave battle in vain is how you're supposed to remember the basic six colours of a rainbow and I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze more than six onto this because it's going to be quite tight anyway. So yes, Richard of York gave battle in vain. Some of the, when I, some of them are a little, you're going to just have to go with it, kind of, you know, they are the right colour basically. So I'm starting with the um, dark sweet sorbet. In fact, they're all the dark shades. So I'm hoping that I can fit all of these on. So let's see. <gasps> Wish me luck, because I do want a proper rainbow. So I'm using a rainbow. Can anybody guess who I might be sending this to? There is a clue. anyone? Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to spread them out a bit. Okay, because yeah, that's fine. I don't mind overlapping more. They're not quite as long as I thought they were. Terra, it's a very, very old um, mnemonic. My husband, every time I talk about rainbows, he goes on about them, and I really ought to be remembering them for myself. So, 
I'm just going to come over the, with the sweet sorbet again. Poodles, yes, Sam, absolutely. So she's the first of the UK demos this year to have earned the trip, which has just been announced. So if anyone was going to be first, it was going to be her. So, yes. And um, she's taking one of her sons with her who is celebrating, or will be celebrating his 21st birthday. So it's going to be a great time. I just hope I get there to be with her. Uh, right. Okay, this is the, it's going to be okay. Now, this is, what's this? Light, this is the only light. So this is light starry sky because I wanted it to be a proper blue. And light starry sky seemed to be the nearest I could get. Let's just come back in with the garden green. I bet I'm bleeding through. Oh, no, I'm not. That's all right, then. And lastly, I'm going to have to put the, um, do some more of the sorbet at the top and squish, squish everything up. I was being a little too... Is it all going to fitish? And it is. Hello, Suzanne from Washington. It is a while. So hopefully I've got, I have I've got enough, right. I've got the width. The width is going to be fine because it's actually quite a short word because well, the, the eye is very narrow. Uh, I am going to use my big stamp and cut and emboss purely because um, I'm going to have so many dies to put through at once and I do kind of want it all to go through in one go. So cutting plates. Let's just move that a bit further up. Right, so, Mexico. So I am going to be pushing everything quite high up so that I get a good bit of the red. It's the one thing that you can always count on with Sam, who I love. She is such a lovely person. Um, is that if you have no idea what to send her, send her something with a rainbow. Next E. Go. I've just realised why I didn't go through the paper. It's because I've got adhesive strip on the back. So hopefully this hasn't taken all the stick out of the adhesive because alcohol and adhesive may not be the best mix I'm sure it'll be fine right put that back and let's see how we've done oh yes definitely definitely rainbows Fingers crossed the adhesive is going to still work for me though. Right, okay, so let's get rid of anything that hasn't still got card in it, which is all of them. So that's good. Put those back over with the rest of the alphabet. So, oh, Sam is, Sam is so nice. She is an absolute joy um, and so generous with her advice and her time really really nice okay so is the adhesive still going to work feels sticky so that's hopeful Now, obviously, you can use just general adhesive for this, 
but um, adhesive sheet definitely makes life easier. There is no question. So, m. Let's get the other one out while I'm here. Right, okay. Let's get my other white letters. So I've done two layers, um, so that so two layers of thick plus this layer, uh, because oh please let me have got this the right way up. Oh, it's going to be fine because it can be either way up. Um, I'm suddenly panicking. I got the X the wrong way up, but I think it is symmetrical, so that's fine. Um, so should stamp some images from. The you should start. I should. Boop. K, you're a genius. Yes, I could add them. Although, do they go with the world? Hmm. Maybe I'll stamp the Taco Fiestas. So, may, mm, I might be having a slight change of plan. Thank, thank you, K. You are absolutely right. And the Taco Fiesta is also carrying over. So, I guess I could do some spice and things, couldn't I? Mix. Mix, 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 mix. I had had the idea of Watercolour World in my head for the card today, which is why I was then turning it into a Mexico card. But uh, I think your idea is a very good one. Okay. Mix ego. So my pre order has arrived. Um, it arrived yesterday actually and I will do an unboxing I just had to finish getting some other stuff done first so I will be doing an unbox unboxing the chili pepper and the hat absolutely Jane says here in the US I have heard Roy G Biv as a way of remembering oh okay <laughs> you put indigo in yes that, yeah, that works. Oh yes, the in is indigo. Yes, so it is actually seven colours. I for indigo. Indigo is a really difficult colour because indigo is that is basically dark denim, um, which is not the <laughs> not the most pleasant colour. Um, but fortunately, with the overlapping of the colours you can get away with ignoring indigo. Sherry hasn't ordered yet. Gosh, you are so restrained. Um, I did as much as anything because um, I'm, I've am i just joined a tutorial group. Um, that's actually lying. I was invited after I'd placed my pre-order. But... Um, I have just been invited to join a tutorial group. Um, can't remember the name of it. Anyway, there's all sorts of really amazing crafters on it, so I'm slightly in awe. Um, I, I am going to come back to your idea, uh, Kay, but I'm just going to sh share what I was, was intending first, and then we'll come back. And in, in fact, it's probably a bit dark. Anywho... Um, But what I could have done is, with one of the uh, conversation bubbles, done a little conversation bubble there. Anyway, but I think your idea is a very good one. Your craft box has arrived. You're excellent, Jan, and the email has already gone, so that should be good. That should be good to go. Right, so Taco Fiesta. Taco Fiesta. Right. So let's grab a white base. 
on a white base. And I could do Spectacular. However, let's start with some chili peppers, of which there are two, and the hat. In fact, I could do some masking, couldn't I? I have my masking paper just here. So we could put a hat on the big, big one. What are the blends you used? I used Sweet Sorbet. So these are all dark apart from um, Starry Sky. So Sweet Sorbet, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, um, Light Starry Sky and Highland Heather, but dark Highland Heather. Um, there are new blends that new colours in blends that would actually have worked as well but because I'm saving everything for a um, an unboxing I didn't. Right okay so Memento. Jan hasn't ordered anything yet either. That's all right Jan. I mean Jan is on my team. What I always say to my team is just because it's on pre-order doesn't mean you need it uh, because the number of times I have experienced people ordering things just because they can um, and then going I don't know why I ordered this I don't like it so I do always remind my team that they should wait until they know what they want um, if they don't need to pre-order wait until you know what you want until you can get what you really 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 want if you're on a budget so i'm fussy cutting this now oh, i was told to not use the words fussy cutting i'm cutting this out with my paper paper snips also known as scissors um i wasn't specifically told not to use the word fussy cutting i watched a video in which someone said don't use the word fussy cutting because people may not know what you mean. Although bearing in mind that I am showing you what I mean, maybe that's different than writing it in instructions, which is the reference that, or the, the basis of the video was how to write things, not how to speak. So... to get all of that black off because the depth of the paper even though it's not very deep um, the hat could go on the O of Mexico oh it could couldn't it in fact I could use the hat twice gosh you're all so clever um, you wouldn't like mind coming and you know being in my head would you with these wonderful ideas hello Pam from Australia gosh you're up early slash late Right, okay, so if we're going to, I think, I think I still want this to be landscape, not, not portrait, because I quite like the Mexico being in that kind of left-hand quadrant. Um, I'm not sticking it yet because I will be cutting layers. So, I need to stamp the hat first. And I will stamp the hat on a separate piece as well. So that's the hat on the separate piece. Then I want, so that's going to go that way, so I want that to go there. And then I need to unpeel this. I really hate it when people think we aren't bright enough to figure out you're cutting it with your scissors. <laughs> Oh, Sherry, I love that. Yeah, I mean, as I say, to be fair, it was someone who was talking about um, writing instructions rather than um, talking. So, and I do, I mean, I kind of get their, get their idea, but if you're saying to someone, fussy cut it out, I don't know what else you'd be telling them to do. Uh, I'm just taking some of the stick off the, um, the back of this because it is really quite sticky and sometimes if you're not very careful 
you can end up tearing your paper. Right, so I need to make sure that the the pepper stays within the hat, which it has, miracle of miracles. So there we are, we have a hat on our pepper. It's got the funny little bit poking down, but never mind. Uh, and then we can have some other peppers just jumping about, doing their thong. Let's have one. I like an odd number. So, ooh, that wasn't very well stamped. Can I do it retro? Ooh, ooh am I feeling brave enough? Hmm, not very well done, but never mind, it'll be fine. It will be fine. It will, it will. I'll make it a very dark red. Right, so we need to colour our hat and our hat. So they're going to both be the same colour. So we'll start with yellow. Let's go over the line, why don't you, Liz? Am I? Yes, I am in the right place. And because this is at the top, I'm going to use that. But I'm just going to grab a colour lifter to see if I can sort out the slight over ex over exciting colouring. There we are. My colour pusher backer. Because it pushes the colour back into the card. Hello, Lorna. How are you? Hang on, it's Thursday. I thought you had something on on Thursdays now. I'm delighted that you're here, but... I had this suspicion that you had a class now on a Thursday. Maybe I'm misremembering. Wouldn't put it past me, frankly. Right, I'm going to grab... Granny Apple Green and Sweet Sorbet Light. Green. Just so that I've got some shading colours. Have I missed anything? I would love I would love to be in your head so I can borrow your wonderful ideas. <laughs> oh, I wish that I had any. Um anywho, right, so let's get rid of that, because I don't need that now. I do need to colour the hat. So let's let's colour the hat first, you all. Hello, Anne. Welcome, welcome. So this time I will try and stay inside the lines. There we go. stayed inside the lines. Right. Last week went well. 20 minutes then off again. I'm glad your class went well. I'm so proud of Lorna. She's running um, workshop classes. Um, so, yes. I'm really proud of her. In your community centre, I think, Lorna. I think that's where I heard you say you were running them. So this is the light sweet sorbet. So I'm just going round the edge with this first, then I'm going to colour it in. I will be using one of those little faces for this chappy. <laughs> Lorna's in love with the, with the alphabet set. It's a wonderful set, Lorna, and it's carrying over. Hello, Tina. Happy Easter. Yes, the village hall. Good. I thought I remembered it was the village hall, but my brain. So this is the dark sweet sorbet, which isn't, you know, hugely darker, but it does give a little bit of shading. Um, I mean, let it be said, 
I'm not convinced that you need to go mad with shading when you are um, doing cartoon type images because um, they're a cartoon and cartoons don't have shading. Right, okay, so I'm going to do some green and some it's dark light. Um, Yes, the pepper's going to have a face. Don't worry, Kay. The face is coming. It will be, you know, a happy face. So this is light granny apple green. Ooh, I might have to bring out some shaded spruce. So the little ones are all going to be green. And I'm going to have to do something with that one because it's annoying me that I did a really bad job of stamping it but it will be fine I'm just gonna have to live with it so again I want my shading so the light for me is coming from up there somewhere um, that's my logic so they're all gonna have they're pale a bit at the kind of top right. So this actually is a bit paler than the rest of it. You wouldn't know it. Uh, right, so the light's coming from there. So we're going here. That's round, so that's going to be underneath. I will be coming back with the light one again. And then that hides the really bad stamping reasonably well. Right. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be digging this one out. This is shaded spruce, dark, but I think the top of the chili will be perfect in dark shaded spruce. I'm going to, mm, I'm actually going to color over the little bit of um, the top of the pepper that's peeking through. Right, I suppose we ought to go for the, the one with the moustache. Really. Really and truly. Hmm. The reason I'm going hmm is because Oh, one of our cats. <laughs> Let me just test that. Oh, no, that'll be all right. Uh, one... <laughs> Memento isn't the blackest of blacks. But it's all right. It's fine. Right, okay, so we are going to need some layers, and I think layers, plural, is what's called for. So let's grab sweet sorbet. Sweet sorbet. Um, dum, dum, dum. Uh, pumpkin pie. Now I keep my card in colour family and I'm going to have to move things around, which is a little annoying, but you know, it's fine. Pumpkin pie, daffodil delight. And granny apple green. Ooh, we could go the whole hog, couldn't we? Why am I pushing my drawer in? I still need it out. Um, granny apple green. Love the moustache. Kay says it's adorable. Sam's gonna love it. Thank you, Tara. Right now, while I'm while I'm digging out colours, 
am I going to go from red in or from purple in? Because I want to do the rainbow again. So while I'm doing this, have a think. I am going to go, I th mm, am I going to go gorgeous? I think I'm going to go gorgeous grape as my purple because it is more of a kind of purple indigo colour. I would have used purple, um, uh, gorgeous grape blends if we had them, but we don't, so I haven't. In starry sky. So yes, which way am I going? Am I going in or out? Might as well put that to one side because that ain't going anywhere. Uh, right, so let's think. I'm going, mm, I'm going to grab my Kylie Bertucci specials. So these are her layers. Because I think I'm going to need the, all the help I can get with these. Does that go there? Yes. Does that go in there? Probably. Right, okay. So the first thing I need to do is try and find the smallest that I can do this piece in. I can go a bit smaller than that. No, I don't know. Let's find a, a letter. So that's, I know it's the wrong letter. That's probably about as small as I can go. But let's have a look. Something slightly smaller than Mexican in me popping out. <laughs> Reverse then it would stand out a bit. Why no? Ooh. So when you say reverse, am I going to get, which is going to be my largest piece? Sweet sorbet or gorgeous grape? <laughs> that is the question. I think that's going to be as small as I can go. Can I go one smaller? Ooh, I can. Right, so we'll use, we'll start with this one and work back from there. Okay, so, wish me luck, everyone. Grape as the largest. Okay, grape as the largest it is. So... Like this scared. Right, so this Imperial A4 is going to be four and seven eighths by three and one eighth. So let's do three and one eighth will be there. Let me find a letter. I'm actually going to cut that side first because that's the side that really matters. Gorgeous grape, right, gorgeous grape biggest. So three and one eighth will be there. Yes, we're in luck. Okay, three and one eighth by four and seven eighths is there. I'm gonna trim a little bit off there, just a little bit. Four and seven eighths to there. Right, so I'm going to do this in reverse because what I'm going to do is I may end up with Gorgeous Grape as my card. So Sweet Sorbet is the next one to cut. So Sweet Sorbet. So slightly bigger than that is going to be five by three and a quarter. I'm going to miss the one that's one sixteenth of an inch because that is just ridiculous. Right, so 
three and an eighth by that's the one I've just done. That's the one I've just done. So I want I want no, I don't want that one. That's the next one. No, it's not. I want five. Where's my five gone? There it no, that's five and a quarter. There's my five. Right, so five by three and a quarter. I'm going to do something that's going to be a bit odd, but I know what, I'm, what my intention is. So I'm going to cut, I've cut it too deep. So three and a quarter. Oh, I've got a new blade. It's so much fun. Having a blade that actually slices. So that's going to go there. Okay. Uh, so then we want pumpkin pie. So we want something that's five and a quarter by three and a half. So five and a quarter. No, three and one, five and one eighth. Five and one eighth. We want five and one eighth by three and three eighths. So I'm just adding an eighth of an inch on each time. Oh, it's like saying, right, okay. Reverse would then stand out a bit. No? Right, yes, okay, I'm with you. So that's that. So now I want, that was three and one. I'm getting myself all confused. Now I'm doing this layer. So now I'm doing five and a quarter by three and a half in yellow. Five and a quarter. By three and a half. Yes. And now I'm going to do five and three eighths. So I'm just going to cut this again at my normal layer size. So five and three eighths by what? Three and three and five eighths. Three and five eighths three and five eighths by five and three eighths yep and starry sky five and three eighths so this is going to be five and a half by three and three quarters Yes. And finally, gorgeous grape at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Right. OK. And I'm going to put it on a white card base because I honestly think we need some white. Uh, is there enough in there? Nope. Right. So let's grab some white okay let's get rid of those bits let's get rid of all of these bits I know I've got to still cut that hat out but that's fine just want to clear the decks a bit and layer it all together. Bone folder. So I am going to stick Mexico on while I remember. <sighs> oh, thank you, Kay. What shades of white are offered by stamping up? What shades of white? Oh, hang on. Basic, Leanne. It's just called basic white and it's just white. Um, and then it's, so there's two thicknesses. There's um, thick and ordinary. The ordinary, however, isn't just ordinary because it's, um, it's been, it's really smooth. Um, so it's really good for stamping on. I'm just laying these down gently to begin with. Uh, how small large do you have for your card layers? 
Mm. Um, they are an eighth of an inch difference, if that's what you mean, Tara. Don't quite understand what you mean. Mexico. Um, it what when I first joined Stamping Up, the white was called Whisper White. So sometimes you will hear me call it Whisper White because my the drawer that I or the the folder that I keep it in, I haven't relabeled. So it still says Whisper White, uh, but we had to change supplier. So because we changed supplier, it's a slightly different card. So it's not the same as the Whisper White was. So we now call it Basic White, which goes with Basic Black and Basic Grey. But we do like our alliteration, which is why Whisper White and our cream is very vanilla. Yeah, they're creeping up a bit. That's better. We do have a uh, very vanilla, Leanne. The ones we see you have stickers on. Right, so um, I get those from Kylie Batucci in Australia. She sells for five Aussie dollars, which isn't very much. Um, I think they're five Aussie dollars, um, the measurements. And they keep coming out with new ones, which you then get if you've bought them. They just email you the new ones. Um, and I just I just have one set, which I've cut to Imperial A4, but it's got the conversion for North American Letter and Metric A4. Um, so it means that when I'm writing tutorials, I don't have to think about it. Antique white. What well, very vanilla. Um, I can show you what very vanilla is. So this is our white and that's our very vanilla. So it's it's not as cream as some cream, but it's vanilla rather than cream, I guess, is the easiest way to describe it. We don't do what I would call, strictly speaking, a cream. Now, that's what I want, seal. So I'm going to stick this on with seal because it's white and I don't like the look of blue on white because that's just me. But I will be doing all of the rest with glue. So by having an eighth of an inch difference on each edge, it's a sixteenth is what I end up with. So now I can switch to glue, which gives me that nice slippage. And just layer everything up. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be one heavy card. Um, they are absolute Kylie's templates are amazing it takes all the guesswork out and it means that you can do what I just did which is take the template and go right can I fit this onto this size piece of card will it will it fit um, and once you've cut them once you've got them for life and I just keep them in one of our ordinary stamp cases I haven't forgotten I've got the gorgeous grey player as well before anyone panics. But yeah, I got her templates oh probably about five years ago. I've been a demo for 
coming up seven and I they were very early in my purchases um, and as I say because they're inexpensive because they're Aussie dollars gotta love an Aussie dollar that is one weighty card jolly good press. Thank you Pam. Well literally I just heard that um, that she'd earned the trip just before we came live and I thought it's got to be done. I don't even know if she's announced it yet. Her upline who is also my upline announced it so that's kind of why I've gone with it. I probably let the cat out of the bag before she wanted the cat out of the bag but hey she's used to cats doing all sorts of strange things a bit like me with my cat leaving a toy at the door of my studio just now there was suddenly loud mewing she carries these toys around as if they're a kitten um, and um, goes with the whole you know I'm carrying a kitten around Hailstones and thunder still this side of the hill. Oh joy, thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Is there room to fit a number 23 at the end? Ooh, there's a thought. Possibly. The question, of course, will be, do I have any of the card left? And where did I put it if I do? Uh, Ooh. Um, I think the answer is I will have to do an extra bit of card, which is fine. I can do that. I can do extra card. That's thick. That's thick with some thin, because that was thin card. That's rubbish. Uh, wrong draw. Okay, we're going to use a bigger bit. Ooh. Oh, that's the bit I'm. That's the bit I'm looking for. That bit there. That's the bit I'm looking for. Right, so that's vanilla. I don't want that. I want. No, that's not it. I now can't find my sticky sheet. Uh, I think the answer is yes. However, I will do it afterwards, and I will then do a photograph and put it on my website. The reason is because I'm going to have to cut six things. It'll be three passes through. So I will do that. But that's going to go on the O. So I will be doing it, but I will do it after after we've finished. Um, And I will post it on my website, which means, of course, I'm going to have to post this on my website, which is fine. So, yes, definitely. Um, I could probably even manage an apostrophe for the bit that's missing for the 20. So we'll have 23 there. But yes, good suggestion, Kay. And I love the hat. Right. OK, so gone off piste a little which is fine I am now going to grab this and actually make a watercolor world um, card and I'm going to rainbow it so I'm just gonna clean this with a wet wipe I haven't got my chamois wet otherwise I would use a chamois but let's get the gray off Grab my, oh, that's that. Grab, grab my cloth. It is definitely bright and cheerful. The US has had the worst storm season this year. 17 tornadoes in 10 states and more. Um, it's, I can't, I'm not competing. 
Um, however, we've had the wettest March for 48 years. Um, and where, where I live, um, there is quite severe flooding. Fortunately, it's not flooding any residentials, but um, it is flooding... Um, it is flooding fields. Um, it meant that people had to cancel uh, events because fields were flooded. Right, so we're going to go from that side to that side, but backwards. <laughs> it's all right, Kay. It was a really good idea. So, gorgeous grape. And this is just a sponge draw bar. Obviously. Now, for this, I am going to use Pacific Point as my blue. Because, you know, it's, oh, that was close. Nearly, nearly dropped it. Um, might as well say farewell to Pacific Point. It's not a colour I ever particularly liked. So that's Pacific Point. Glenny Apple Green, which apparently I don't have a sponge door before, but I do now. This will be my Granny Apple Green sponge door, but I'm going to keep away from the Pacific Point for the moment. Oh, that's the thunder. Oh, good grief, I can see the cloud. Hopefully it'll pass in an hour and I won't have to go walking in it because hubby and I walk at five o'clock. Thanks for the warning, Jen. It's, it's about to go very dark in here. Um, just saying. And hopefully we won't have a power cut. Um, I was on a Zoom call, or I was due to be on a Zoom call earlier in the week with the States for the demo council that I'm on. Uh, this is Mango Melody. I'm going to say goodbye to that as well because I love Mango Melody. Um, and about 40, yeah, about 40 minutes before I was due to go on the call, we had a power outage. Um, they tend to come in clusters for us. And um, right, I'm going to merge that into the Granny Apple Green. So I had to I had to post on our Facebook group just saying, um, we've just had a power outage. I may or may not be on the call later. Depends how we get on. Unfortunately, it came back really quickly and didn't go off again. But uh, I can't. We have we have no signal in the village unless you use Wi-Fi. So um, so I'm doing Mango Melody and then Pumpkin Pie. So it's going to be a darker yellow than we used previously and then sweet sorbet good heavens Leanne someone who was struck by lightning twice and lived through it wow and they say lightning never strikes in the same place twice right so Alaska is gonna be sweet sorbet So I've just got to do that join between the Granny Apple Green and the Pacific Point. And I think I'm going to be brave and use the Granny Apple Green for it. Right, now this is the technical bit. So my head was deliberately in the way. Fingers crossed this works. Nearly. Ta da! Rainbow World. Right, let's take that off and put it out of my way so I don't end up with ink all over me. So, Rainbow World, let's take rid of those. I will grab a piece of card that is already out she says toying up which one she's going to use Ooh. oh actually no I'm going to use something that isn't already out 
Ooh, I know what I'm going to use. I know what I'm going to use. So I'm just in my drawer here. I'm going to trim it down, but I'm going to use black and then the other half of the other half of the card base. So I'm going to trim this down a wee bit. Hello, Christina. Can you help me settle a debate? Should a sandwich... Um, Christina, I'm not convinced that you're on the right channel because um, I really could care less, frankly, whether it squishes before you eat it. We may have to get rid of you if you don't behave. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Anne. It did turn out well, didn't it? Now, I have got to get the smallest bit off here. Actually, I'm going to take... I'm going to take an eighth off each end, hopefully. Mm, am I? No, I don't think I am. So I've taken an eighth off the bottom. No, that's it. That's where I'm going to stop. Where's the black? There's the black. So this is, let's use an end that isn't too fuzzy. Oh, no, need it because I need to score this. It's getting so black. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I don't want to go walking in thunder. Fortunately, the other side of the black, big black cloud um, is um, lighter. Thunderstorms were not forecast today. Right, so that's going to go on there with just a little, and that's going to go, so that'll help pop it right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just transfixed by the cloud coming in, because it is very, very, very black. Oh, thank you, Kay. Yes, yeah, a colourful, joyful place to live. You shouldn't walk in thunderstorms. Yeah, tell my husband that, Peggy. If we have planned to go for a walk at five o'clock, the weather is going to be academic. One watercolour world card. Right. Okay. I'm going to... I will put the 23 on and I will have put an apostrophe as well. Um, let me bring it back. And I will actually finish the grey one. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to finish the grey one, but I will finish the grey one as well. So those are the two cards. I will flip the camera up so I can say goodbye before the heavens open. Um... Right, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. So, thank you very much for joining me today and for helping me with the cards. Um, that was really helpful, some fantastic ideas. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. Um, I will get that in the post to the lovely Sam and um, I will let her know that it was made by committee. So thank you very much indeed. As I say, I will put the 23 on and I will take a photograph of it before I post it. And then I will post it on my blog. So thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peggy lives in Florida and it's the lightning capital. I know we were there uh, in 2018. Three guys who hit lightning on a golf course. Well, you know, that don't, don't play golf. 
ruins a good walk, as they say. Thank you all very much indeed. Um, if you're watching the replay, oh, and do remember, if you've enjoyed it, a thumbs up is always welcome. If you're watching the replay and you've got any questions or comments, you can put those below the description bar. Um, and do remember that if you haven't already subscribed and would like to, that's bottom right hand corner, hit the alert bell and you will get to get an email when I go live next. Thank you very much indeed. And I will see you again very soon, I hope. Bye for now.